Hey there guys, what's up? It is Autobot Mike 18 here, back here with another Blu-ray review and unboxing. A Blu-ray review and unboxing that is kind of late. Sorry about that. But guys, in this video, I am going to be reviewing and unboxing 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, Michael Bay's newest movie. Um, I don't know, a lot of people who didn't know Michael Bay directed this immediately turned this video off or clicked on another video. Yeah, it's actually a good Michael Bay movie, just saying. Anyway, guys, yeah, so 13 Hours came out on Blu-ray, uh, I think it was June 4th, and the only reason why I remember that specific date was because that was the day I picked up Zootopia, and I knew that it came out the same day as Zootopia. Now, I did not buy this opening day when Zootopia came out, and the reason was I did not feel like spending... $20 on it because I liked this movie. I didn't love it. I had fun with it though and I did want to watch it again on Blu-ray but I didn't feel like paying $20 and not more than a week later this movie went down from $20 to I think it was $12.99, $12.99 at Best Buy and I, mean, I saw that immediately and said okay that's it I'm buying this. Um, that is too good of a deal to pass up for a movie that I did want to buy when it came out to begin with, but I was just didn't feel like spending that much money on it. Um, so now I did buy it for $12.99. I got it the same day 10 Cloverfield Lane came out. You can check out that review on my channel as well. I'm going to probably upload this first, then this, even though this is late. Um, but And I decided to review it on boxes anyway because I really liked this release from Paramount. I think it's really cool. I like the, the, the three-disc set for the Blu-ray combo. Um, so I, I thought it was definitely worth talking about for a video. Um, and I know I whenever a movie has been out for over a week on Blu-ray, I tend to, and I buy it later, I tend to not do a review for it. I did that for Deadpool and The Witch, which both came out recently. I'm sorry about that, guys. It's just I wanted to do a Blu-ray review and unboxing for this. Shoot me. Um, anyway, so moving on. 13 hours. I'll talk about the movie towards the end. I actually did review this movie. It was the first movie I reviewed this year. It was the first movie I saw in a theater in 2016. New movie I saw in 2016 in a theater. Um, so I'll leave a link, obviously, to the review um, somewhere in this uh, video. But uh, I'm going to show off the packaging and everything first. And then, of course, I will talk about picture and audio quality and special features a little bit. And then I'll talk about the movie towards the end of the video. Anyway, let's take a look. Um, so guys, as I said, this is the Blu-ray DVD digital copy combo. Um, there's a shot of John Krasinski. Blah, John Krasinski, um, looking all beefed up and, um, uh, pretty, uh, heartbroken, actually. Um, and there's, of course, a notorious American flag in the background, because Michael Bay loves America. Um, <laughs> and, of course, uh, Michael Bay film right there. Um, 13 Hours, Secret Sol The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. I'm pretty sure most people just call this movie 13 Hours, but whatever. Um, now, the movie actually, they, the, with the marketing, they actually put a lot of quotes praising this movie on the Blu-ray cover. So, to show that, yes, it is a good Michael Bay movie. So, Joe, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, from the New York Daily News, gave this four stars a gripping and harrowing heartfelt film and then Stephen Hayes of the Weekly Standard called it a riveting and exhilarating true story a masterpiece interesting very very interesting um Anyway, taking a look at the spine, there is, again, more of that American flag. Oh, yeah. The 13 Hour Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. This is a three-disc set. Uh, same thing on the other spine. Taking a look at the back, we got a lot of pictures from the movie. So there's a bio and some ex uh, explanation of the special features. Uh, we got another quote, though, a tense action thriller from Brian Truitt of U.S. Today. And there's our uh, uh, main picture of one of our main characters, uh, played by James Badge Dale. I don't remember all of their names. Of course I don't. Um, I haven't seen this movie since January. Um, there is a look, before I show all the um, uh, quotes, and or show all the pictures and everything, there's a look at the premise of the movie, guys. Just a summation of the movie and, you know, Michael Bay and everything. Um, so if you'd like to pause the video, put it in HD and read it if you haven't seen this movie. Um, there's some pictures from the movie. There's James Badge Dale. There's the uh, the team um, in um, Benghazi. Uh, there's another one of the soldiers. And um, 
Another still, and there was the uh, female a ambassador in the movie. I do not remember her name. Of course, it's been so long. Uh, and it says you get over an hour of behind-the-scenes bonus content. And that's one reason why I even contemplated getting this, because I said, wow, that's a lot of special feature material for this Blu-ray release. If I ever feel like seeing the making of, why not? So that's why I ended up buying it. So disc one is your Blu-ray feature film. And disc 2 is the special features disc. So you get featurettes for the record, finding the truth amid the noise, uncovering Benghazi secret soldiers, preparing for the battle behind the scenes of 13 hours, which is the one I would totally want to watch, and more. Disc 3 is your DVD feature film. So that is a lot of special features for this one release. So let's take the slip cover off. Let's pop it off and let's do a little comparison. Everything looks the same. Everything looks the same on the spine, and everything is the same on the back of the Blu-ray. And of course, if you couldn't already tell, this movie is rated R. It is a hardcore war movie. So guys, I'm going to open this up. Let's see my digital copy code. I put it the other way before, I guess. Um, so I'll pop that out in a second. Let's take a look at the Blu-ray and everything. Another Paramount release, so just uh, solid blue disc uh this is the feature film on blu-ray 13 hours i love how they give us the divider uh here is the special features disc also on blu-ray there you have it and finally the um dvd copy of the movie is hiding back here and there you have it feature film on dvd now the special feature uh waiver uh, shows an ad uh, for the book um, that was written by Mitchell Zuckoff with the Annex security team, the men who made up the uh, security team. And, of course, digital copies on the back. I'm just going to place my big thumb over it because I might do something with this code in the future. Who knows, guys? Who knows? And there you have it. All right. So let's close this up and let's uh, pack it up. And we'll talk a little bit about the movie for a little bit. I'm it's not going to go crazy and make this a super long video because this Blu-ray has been out for a couple of weeks now. Um, so I'm not going to go wild. But uh, 13 hours uh, in terms of picture and audio quality. I, I would say in general all of the movies that Michael Bay makes um, always have great Blu-ray releases. Which is why I buy a lot of his movies on Blu-ray. Not just because I enjoy them for the most part, but they look and sound amazing on Blu-ray because they're meant to be watched on Blu-ray, quite frankly. Um, and the same can easily be said for 13 hours. Uh, the movie looks stunning on Blu-ray. I did pop in the Blu-ray, actually, uh, the day I bought the, the night I bought this. Just watched a couple scenes, just skimmed through them. Um, the fight sequences look incredible, the, exp I'll be, the explosions look incredible, but I, I think I even said this in my review, I honestly don't remember, but I believe I even said the explosions in this movie are necessary, okay, I know it's Michael Bay, I know it's explosions, but they're necessary, this is a war movie, you need explosions, there you have it. Um, and, uh, judging this, uh, with Pearl Harbor, I think this totally takes the cake for Michael Bay's wet best war movie, um... Anyone care to disagree with me on that? I didn't think so. Um, <laughs> but uh, 13 hours, yes. Getting back to the picture and audio quality, it looks amazing. It sounds great. Special features wise, I did not watch any of the special features. But as it says on the Blu-ray and as we get um, evidence by, you get a ton of featurettes. All equate over to over an hour of bonus features. Um, I think the making of documentary is like 40 minutes. Um, the preparing for battle behind the scenes of 13 hours. I think some of these are about like the actual true story. Yeah, like for the record, finding the truth and the noise. Some of these are like 30 minutes long. So you do get a very, uh, very worthwhile amount of bonus features for the movie, which I think is worth it in its own right. Um, I love whenever Blu-ray releases give 
like the like a big like extra bonus disc and give you like a whole making of featurette and you go behind the scenes because that's like the stuff that gets me as a filmmaker excited to watch do i ever find time to watch these these featurettes no but when i do have the time which is rare because i'm trying to catch up on so many movies i do enjoy watching them and i love seeing what the filmmakers went through on set so there you have it that is reason enough to pick this up now the movie itself it's not perfect. That's why I didn't buy this movie. It wasn't a day one Blu-ray purchase for me. And I, I, I don't think it, it's not my favorite Michael Bay movie. I know it's a lot of people's favorite Michael Bay movies because they hate his other movies, especially the Transformers movies. Well, I enjoy the Transformers movies, so there you have that. But I think that this is definitely um, a movie that he needed to make and ended up doing a very damn good job on because he had just been doing the Transformers movies for years. He was getting so much shit, and I, I honestly feel, and I'm not here to talk about Transformers, but I am here to say that he gets a lot, he takes a lot of crap, and I know he hasn't made a good movie with the Transformers movies, according to other people, even though I enjoy them. I feel that it's not only him responsible for those movies, it's mainly his screenwriter, Aaron Kruger, but that's a whole nother conversation for another day. He's off directing Transformers 5 right now as we speak anyway. But my point is, um, he he's a he's a really good visual director in my opinion and he is a director who does do a very good job with practical um effects and everything like when it comes to making a war movie he definitely knows how to make it feel gritty and realistic and that's one of the best praises i can give this movie as a war film because it highly it is very highly uh realistic and feels very gritty and very disturbing and very violent just as war should be or battle scenes like that should be portrayed and i think he did a very good job on that and not just with explosions but with the blood with the sound and everything i think it really makes it feel like a hardcore uh, war movie depicting what really happened uh during that awful period in Benghazi uh, when that CIA annex was attacked. Um, that being said, the first hour, I would say the first f half hour of the movie is really just set up, just setting up these characters and it doesn't do a perfect job of it, in my opinion. I think the dialogue's a little clunky there and I, w I wasn't totally invested into that, but once the the um the insurgents began attacking i was totally into the movie the tension was there the action was there and everything delivers on that end i would have loved the movie even more if i cared about more of the characters but other than that i'm still am going to recommend you guys buy this movie i wouldn't pay like over twenty dollars for it because that's just me it's not perfect I, as I said, I wanted to re-watch the movie again because I know I only saw it the once. I do enjoy Michael Bay's movie, so I wanted to collect this movie as well. Another reason why I bought it. And I love um, war movies. I am a big fan of war films. That is one of my favorite genres, or that was especially when I um, was a teenager. was totally into them, and I think this is a very good one, a very good recent one. So I definitely wanted to own it in my collection, which is why I have it. But uh, if you're a fan of Michael Bay and you like his movies, I think you'll like this. If you're a fan of war movies, I think you'll like this as well. I would say in general, this is overall one of his more appreciated films. And it's a film that isn't as bashed heavily as his other movies. So I think you guys will like it for that reason alone. Um, so guys, if you guys saw 13 Hours and if you bought the Blu-ray, let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on the movie. Is this Michael Bay's best movie in years? Let me know your thoughts on that as well. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.